G'day, I'm Mark from Tasmanian Off-Road Adventures. In this video today, I'm going to be fitting the projector 25 amp DC to DC slash solar battery charger into my Hilux. Now in my Hilux currently, I've got a 160 watt solar panel on top of the fiberglass canopy. I'm running my Bushman fridge 24 seven now. I've been doing that for about seven or eight months in the Hilux, uh, mainly to keep drinks uh, and lunch and that sort of stuff cool. Um, but what I've got, I've got an MPPT controller uh, that's supposed to be controlling the, uh, the solar panel input into my second battery. The problem I've got is the cheap MPPT controller has died, or it hasn't died, it just stopped doing what it was meant to do. Uh, it's actually started putting through 17 volts to the second battery, and it's actually fried the battery. So, uh, hence I'm replacing that sort of system with this. There's also a projected dual battery, um, like a standard sort of isolator in there as well, and taking that out and using this as the dual battery isolator as well. Now I picked this up, I've actually owned this for a while, I bought it a little while ago and I was going to fit it, uh, I was actually going to fit it to the cruise and I didn't get around to doing it so I'm going to fit it now to the Hilux, it cost me about 340 bucks, um, I'll just give you a close up, you can see it's fully programmable, you can uh, set this to operate on gel batteries, AGM, wet uh, batteries and also calcium, it comes with this wiring loom here which has, you'll see that, well there I've already strip just to see what size connectors I need. Also comes with this five meter um, temperature sensor for the second battery. So I reckon I will, I will be hooking that up as well. Now it will work with smart alternators. You've got this blue wire here to hook up to the ignition. If you do have a smart alternator, I don't have a smart alternator in the Hilux so it doesn't bother me too much. You can also, it's got this pink lead here so you can fit an external LED on the dash if you want to. I'm probably not going to bother with that. Now projector gear, I, I really like projector gear. I've got quite a bit of their stuff. I've already got a, a traditional uh, isolator in the Hilux, uh, in the camper trailer. I've also got uh, an inverter battery charger and I've got another projector uh, charger as well. So it's it's certainly not top of the range as far as price goes, but I've been really happy. I haven't had any problems at all with any projector gear I've had. So it's sort of that mid to high range price bracket. It's a really well known brand and in my opinion, really good quality. Now one of the reasons I decided to use this particular one is how compact it is. So in the camper trailer, which is right next to me over there, I keep pointing over there, is uh, I've got a SeaTech, similar sort of thing, 25 amp DC to DC with solar input uh, controller charger. Um, now that's really good, it works fine, I've never had any problems with it, but this is about a third of the size. Um, and that's another thing too, is that this is actually uh, waterproof, um, so it's rated IP67, so you can put it under the bonnet. I don't think you'd really want to soak it in too much water, but it will take splashes and that sort of thing, so it's completely uh, suitable for putting under the bonnet. Now if you don't have solar panels yet, uh, and you want to use this purely as a DC to DC charger in your uh, four wheel drive, camper trailer, caravan, whatever have you, you don't have to use the solar input. You can just sort of tape that up and just use it purely as a DC to DC charger. And then if you add on solar panels later on, you can just simply wire that in as well. Now on the same token, you don't have to use this as a DC to DC charger. You can purely use it as a MPPT controller. Now if you did do that it's an expensive way to go about it but it might be one of those things where you buy it and think oh well maybe later on I will use it as a DC to DC charger. Now also in the packet it comes with a little bag of uh, heat shrink, a couple of crimp connectors, a couple of joiners for the the eight millimeter wire, eight millimeter square wire that it comes with. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to connect that up yet because I've already got the, the cables run from the two batteries so haven't quite worked that out yet, I'll sort that out in a minute. But that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stop talking and go and fit this to the Hilux.
Right, so I've just installed it. The battery isolator slash DC solar battery charger. Uh, it went in pretty easy. Um, it was all, as I said before, I was just replacing an existing one anyway, so it wasn't too much of a drama. It took me about four beers. Uh, probably could have slipped a fifth one in, but I do drink pretty quick, but I actually ran out of beer. Um, the only thing that was a bit of a pain was joining the cable. So I've got pretty big cables coming from my batteries uh, at the moment. Now, when you're using a DC to DC charger of only 25 amps, you can get away with much smaller cables. But I didn't want to have to run new cables, so I just kept the ones, the thicker ones that were in there. So I needed to find a way to join those, which wasn't too much of a drama. Uh, got the earth in. One thing I didn't really rate was the the fact that they do come with cable. I didn't measure it, but I'm, it's probably about 300 mil of cable. I showed you at the start of the video. Uh, the SeaTech uh, one I've got in the camper trailer just comes uh, with posts, like a, almost like a battery post. You put a lug on the end of the cable and you put it on the post and you screw it down. Works really well. That's how most things, uh, as in dual battery isolators, work. I think it's certainly how the old projector worked. This one comes with a cable already in it, which I actually found to be a little bit of a pain because I needed to find a way to join those cables. It wasn't the end of the world. It wasn't too much of a drama. Uh, it just would have been easier if there was some sort of lugs on there. Not a deal breaker, but thought it was worth mentioning. Now I've set this to the wet seal battery, which I've, I've installed as well over there. And I've got my charging light is flashing. So at the moment it's charging off the solar panel, which is what it's meant to be doing. So that's good. Uh, I'm on a camping trip tomorrow uh, for a week or so and then I'll get back for a couple of days and then I'm on a tag along tour for another week. Uh, so this will get a fair workout uh, over the next couple of weeks. So um, I might give it a few months until after the tag along tour season, after I've done a few more trips, come back to you and let you know what I thought. Uh, this video obviously was just installing it and talking about the product. Um, at the moment I can say I'm happy with it because I haven't actually really used it but uh, it all went in pretty pretty easily and it appears to be doing what it's meant to be doing so we'll leave it at that and as I said I'll come back in a few months and, and give you an update. Uh, thanks very much for watching and as always if you enjoy the video click subscribe uh, and check out my other videos on my YouTube channel.